The Cream and Crimson World Series wrapped up with Game 5 happening on Sunday at Sembauer Field. And even though the series was clinched, the game was still important for managers and players alike. It's kind of blending in the freshmen, having them develop and watch some of the other clubs, upperclassmen that have been here for a while. The Cream versus Crimson is a pretty big deal nowadays because we're coming around and um, we take it pretty serious. It's a little wager on it for our date party and uh, whoever wins doesn't have to pay for their date. Each assistant was able to build their team through a draft system. Coach Neal had the first pick, and then we went um, by position. For example, he took Josh Fagley with the first overall pick. Then I got the next catcher. We each took a position, drafted by position. For the first three games, there were also guest managers, including IDS beat writers, a couple of Kelly School business representatives, and even an Army versus Marines game. Well, they were fun. I'm, it's nice to get kind of the community into the baseball program. We're kind of making a name for ourselves a little bit, and the university is kind of recognizing us, so it's nice to get those guys out here and kind of let us see, let them see what it's all about. So. Keith Dayton, he was a professor from the business school. He was my favorite, probably, favorite manager. He had a lot of energy. But what was most interesting for the managers was being pit against themselves. It's different. I didn't like it. <laughs> it the, you know, the funniest part was uh, having Coach Smith in the, lock, in, in the dugout and I was in charge because he's usually the one running things. Game five started with some fireworks as Evan Crawford led off with a home run. Michael Early added a two-run homer of his own later in the inning. That set the pace for the game as the Crimson team jumped out to a 9-1 lead. The Cream team tried to come back, but that early lead was just too insurmountable, and they wound up losing to their Crimson counterparts 12-9. Well, I mean, we lost it, so we're going to have to pay up, but not too big of a wager, but it's still something to compete for, so it was fun. At Sembauer Field, I'm Josh Greenberg, Hoosier Sports Night.